Hey guys, you're watching BPT Welding. Today we're going to be doing something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Um, we're going to be using some air couplings like you'd find on an air hose uh, to run like a grinder or an MPEG gun. And we're going to be using them to, uh, you know, make quick couplings for our argon hoses here. And um, as you can see, I've already gotten started. I went to test fit this one here and I subsequently got stuck on this hose. Um, I found that most hoses are 3 16 in diameter on the inside. Um, looking for other hose here. Here we are. Uh, this is a hose that came off of a uh, regulator from Lincoln for the 350 MP over here. And I cut that one and that was the same. And then I had another hose off of a, uh, what is this, uh, metal, metalist re regulator. That's the same. And uh, so I'm guessing that most regulators are going to be 316. Some might be a quarter inch, but uh, for the most part, what I'm doing here will work for everyone. So all you need is you need four of these barbs here, and these just go into the hose, and then you put the clamp on them. And you can either put it on the coupler end or the other end, and uh, they just um. They make life easy and they're pretty cheap and if you have access to Amazon you can get these for 16 bucks, all four of those barbs, um, all four couplers and these uh, little clamps here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be putting um, couplers on this hose here and uh, the uh, cut end and I'm going to be using one argon tank to run two machines. So I'm going to be using just this one for this TIG machine and my MIG machine over here. Um, and the whole, whole idea is I can be able to have the quick couplers on here and I can go between each machine without having to unscrew this uh, hose from here. So um, let's go ahead and put those on real quick. All right guys, so I just got done um, getting everything put together. As you can see, I got the little pigtails coming off the regulator here. These are all done up. I got the thread paste on there, and uh, everything looks pretty good right now. Um, I got the, uh, the other connector ends on the MIG welders, or the MIG welder and the uh, the TIG welder. I got this one over here, and uh, I still have the other pigtail here for the regulator. So when I eventually get um, more bottles and I have something like a Trimex on here for stainless steel or um, maybe I get another uh, Argon CO2 bottle and I have one on there and one on here something like that I can uh, you know use this with either one and uh, it'll make it really quick to go between them so uh, let's go ahead and try this thing out I'm really interested to see okay guys so uh, it's been a while since I shot the last part of the video here um, I'm doing a little present for my sister for her birthday and uh, part of that includes TIG welding. Um, I'm making this for her. I'm cutting the heart out with plasma and I'm TIG welding some letters on there for her. So uh, <clears throat> I get to try out this new uh, coupler system I've got on here. Now it's been about a week or so since I did this and uh, I thought about this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some crimp connections for high pressure gas lines. and. Uh, I'm going to replace these um, hose clamps. I think that'll look a lot more professional and uh, it'll give me a much better uh, much better look just overall. But um, I'll set you guys up to get a view of uh, what I'm doing here and uh, show you guys that this actually works um, really good. I don't get any gas leakage out of this. I've used this a little bit before too. I'm doing some aluminum welding with the 350 MP here and uh, it works flawlessly. And I highly recommend that you guys do this for your uh, your machine if you're running more than one that needs the same bottle.
Okay hey guys, so this is the finished product here. I'm going to be leaving all of these uh, heat marks here and uh, kind of leaving it a little bit rough. And I think she's going to like it like that. Um, I got a little hole up here. I used the plasma cutter to blast out so she can hang it on the wall. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Just a quick little birthday present project right there. Um, the uh, Quick Connects couldn't have worked better on this. Uh, I'm really happy I did it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, a couple more weeks here, I'm going to be posting some videos on, uh, or I'm going to be posting a video on putting some pneumatic casters on that thing. It'll be the same ones that are on uh, the uh, gantry over there. And I'm going to put some pneumatic uh, tires in the back, like the ones that are on this. And uh, it's just going to increase the portability of uh, my MIG welders. I'm going to be doing both of them, by the way. So, uh, like I said, thanks for watching, and uh, please go check out our channel, and uh, see you in the next one.